You might be surprised by what I'm about to share, but it's crucial to stay silent and focused on what's coming your way. You're about to uncover a truth that only a select few will ever understand, a truth so profound it might shake your very core. This message isn't for everyone. If this doesn't resonate with you, stop watching now. But if you feel a deep stirring within, if you've always sensed a dark undercurrent behind your mother's actions, then you are about to receive the insight you've been seeking. This is not just a message. It's a revelation that will transform your understanding of the spiritual battle you've been fighting. Only true chosen ones will grasp the gravity of what's coming next. You are not just fighting the visible battles in your life. You're entangled in a dark web spun by the one who was supposed to nurture you. Witchcraft in its truest form is a weapon of control, a silent force designed to bend your will tethering you to a reality that isn't yours. Your mother, in her immaturity, has become the architect of your setbacks, weaving spells of manipulation that lurk in the shadows of your mind. These aren't just rituals performed in secret. They're deliberate attempts to keep you from ascending to the heights you are destined to reach. Every failure you've faced, every step you've stumbled, every moment of inexplicable doubt is a thread in the fabric of her control. These are not accidents. They are carefully crafted outcomes of the dark energy she harnesses. She wants you to believe that you are powerless, that you cannot survive without her. But the truth is, you are a chosen one, and the power she fears is the very essence of your being. Her toxicity is not just a flaw. It is a manifestation of a psychological disorder, a desperate attempt to hold on to the past, where she still reigns over you like a queen over her subjects. She is stuck in her own adolescence, a time when control over you was easy, and she longs to keep you in that place, forever her child, forever under her thumb. But you are not a child anymore, and her spells are beginning to lose their grip. You feel it, don't you? The subtle shift, the moments when you break free, only to be pulled back by a force you can't see. That force is her, drawing on energies she does not fully understand, driven by fear and jealousy. She sees your potential, your strength, and it terrifies her. So she resorts to manipulation, to dark practices, all to keep you bound to her, trapped in a cycle of confusion and dependency. But you are awakening. The spells are unraveling, and with each passing day, her control weakens. The truth is, she cannot stop you. You are destined to rise, to break free from the chains she's placed around your spirit. Your power is greater than the darkness she wields, and soon, you will claim what is rightfully yours. The first reason why your mom hates you so much is because you broke free from her life cycle. By choosing a path that diverges from the one she laid out, you've torn through the fabric of her expectations, leaving a gaping wound in her perception of control. This defiance feels like a betrayal so deep that it festers into resentment morphing into a hatred that seethes beneath the surface. The night before you make the bold move to a new city, driven by dreams that she never understood, you're haunted by a dream where her voice echoes, pleading with you not to leave. You wake up drenched in anxiety, only to find that your car won't start, and your carefully packed bags have been mysteriously unzipped. You brush it off as nerves, but the unsettling feeling lingers. Later, you discover she's been visiting a local witch, attempting to bind you to the life she believes you're abandoning. As you press forward, determined to carve out your own destiny, the journey becomes fraught with inexplicable obstacles. Jobs slip through your fingers, your health takes a sudden downturn, and an eerie sense of being watched follows you like a shadow. These aren't coincidences. They are the tangible manifestations of her refusal to let you go. Her hatred is rooted in fear, the fear that you, by stepping outside the bounds of her influence, will shatter the illusion of control she has meticulously constructed over the years. The life cycle she imagined for you was her safety net, a mirror of her own existence, and your rejection of it is a direct challenge to the authority she believes she had over your fate. Each time you push forward, despite the chains she tries to bind you with, you threaten to dismantle the very foundation of her identity. Your freedom becomes her prison, and as you rise, the weight of her unresolved desires 
pulls her deeper into the abyss of her own making. You are no longer just her child. You have become a force she can neither contain nor comprehend, and that terrifies her. Jealousy of your happiness is the second reason your mom resents you so deeply. When your joy radiates so brightly, it casts a shadow over the emptiness she feels inside, sparking a deep-seated jealousy. This envy isn't merely a passing feeling. It festers within her, twisting into an unconscious desire to sabotage the very happiness she can't seem to grasp. You've just entered a new relationship, one that feels like a breath of fresh air, filled with genuine affection and mutual respect. You bring your partner home, hopeful that your mom will see the good in them as you do. But instead of approval, you're met with subtle jabs, comments on trivial flaws that suddenly seem magnified. Your partner, who once felt so connected to you, starts to pull away, as if an invisible hand is pushing them out of your life. Arguments that never existed before begin to surface. Small misunderstandings balloon into full-blown conflicts, and the bond you cherished starts to unravel. What you don't see is what happens behind closed doors. Late at night, your mom lights anointed candles, muttering under her breath, channeling her jealousy into dark wishes. She can't stand to see you happier than she ever was, and in her twisted logic, it's better to see your joy destroyed than to live in its shadow. The energy she pours into these rituals seeps into your relationship like a slow-acting poison, weakening the love that once felt unbreakable. This isn't just about disapproval. It's an attempt to drag you down into the same pit of dissatisfaction she's been trapped in for years. She resents your ability to find what eludes her, and this resentment becomes the weapon she wields to shatter your happiness. As your relationship falters, the smile on her face might seem innocent, but beneath it lies the satisfaction of having dimmed your light, if only for a moment. Her jealousy drives her to tear down what she cannot build for herself, leaving you to pick up the pieces of a happiness she never wanted you to have. The third reason why your mom hates you so much is because you're no longer under her control. Her need to dictate your life stems from a deep-rooted fear. Fear of losing her grip on your decisions, fear of fading into irrelevance. When she senses that her influence over you is slipping away, she resorts to darker, more sinister tactics to maintain her hold. You've made a monumental decision, one that marks your true independence, without seeking her input. For the first time, you're steering the course of your own life. But as you move forward, you're suddenly engulfed in a wave of self-doubt. Every path you take is met with an inexplicable resistance, as if an unseen force is determined to keep you from progressing. You dismiss the feeling as mere nerves, but then an anonymous letter arrives, filled with cryptic warnings, urging you to reconsider your choices. The words haunt you, planting seeds of doubt that sprout into a choking vine of uncertainty. Unbeknownst to you, your mom has been consulting a psychic, pleading for your mind to be clouded, for your vision to be obscured. She cannot stand the thought of you navigating your life without her guiding hand, so she seeks to undermine your clarity, to make you question the very decisions that define your freedom. Every time you try to take a step forward, it feels as though the ground crumbles beneath your feet, leaving you teetering on the edge of sanity. Her hatred is not just a reaction to your autonomy. It's a calculated effort to reclaim the power she feels slipping away. By clouding your mind and sowing confusion, she hopes to draw you back into the web of her control, where she can once again pull the strings. The more you fight to break free, the tighter she tries to weave her influence around you, turning your life into a battlefield of wills. You are no longer her puppet, and that terrifies her to the core. But in her desperation to regain control, she only reveals the depth of her fear, a fear that your strength and independence will ultimately dismantle the world she has tried so hard to create around you. Your ambition, which outshines her legacy, is the fourth reason for your mom's intense hatred. Her identity is deeply entwined with the legacy she's built, no matter how shallow or insignificant it may seem. The thought of your achievements overshadowing hers ignites a smoldering resentment, one that grows with every milestone you reach. You launch a business, something she never had the courage or the opportunity to do. 
and it quickly gains recognition. The success that eluded her is now within your grasp, and instead of celebrating your victories, she greets them with passive-aggressive remarks. Comments like, It's hard to keep up that level of success, or I hope you're not spreading yourself too thin. Drip with envy, masked as concern. But what you don't see is what happens behind closed doors. She's been visiting a witch who specializes in binding spells, desperate to tie your hands, to slow your progress, so that her legacy remains intact. Then, out of nowhere, things begin to unravel. Deals that seemed certain suddenly fall apart. Clients who once sang your praises disappear without a trace, and your once thriving business stumbles for reasons that defy logic. Every step forward feels like it's met with a wall, an invisible barrier that wasn't there before. What you don't realize is that these setbacks are not mere coincidences. They are the result of the dark energy she summoned, all in a desperate bid to keep you from surpassing her. Her hatred is not just about rivalry. It's a fight for relevance in a world where your light threatens to extinguish hers. She can't bear the thought of her accomplishments being dwarfed by your ambition. And in her desperation, she turns to forces that she barely understands. Your success becomes her failure, your growth her decline. As your star rises, her resentment deepens, and she becomes willing to do whatever it takes to keep you from shining too brightly. But no spell, no curse, can contain the power of your ambition. Her attempts to bind you only highlight the fading grasp she has on her own legacy, as you continue to rise above the limits she tries to impose. The fifth reason why your mom hates you so much is because your relationships flourish where hers have failed. Each bond you form is a living testament to what she could never sustain, a glaring contrast to the wreckage of her past connections. Her jealousy isn't just a passing emotion, it's a consuming fire that drives her to ensure that you experience the isolation she knows all too well. As you plan your wedding, a moment meant to be filled with joy and celebration, you notice your mom's unsettling distance. Instead of sharing in your happiness, she withdraws, her presence cold and distant. Then, just days before the ceremony, your fiancé, once so certain and committed, begins to waver. It's as if an unseen shadow has crept into their heart, filling it with doubts that never existed before. The love that once felt so solid now feels fragile, threatened by an invisible force that you can't quite grasp. The truth behind this darkness is more sinister than you could have imagined. Your mom has been leaving gifts at your doorstep. Gifts wrapped in black silk, adorned with symbols that chill you to the bone. These are not tokens of goodwill. They are curses cloaked in deceit. Each time you touch them, a wave of nausea overtakes you, as if the very essence of these objects is designed to drain the life and love out of your relationship. The gifts are her way of embedding her bitterness into your life, poisoning the happiness she could never achieve for herself. Her hatred is rooted in the reflection of her own failures in your successes. She sees in your thriving relationships the ghosts of what she has lost, and this drives her to sabotage your joy at every turn. Her distant demeanor is not just indifference, it's the calculated coldness of someone who cannot bear to witness your fulfillment. The dark energy she channels into these gifts is her twisted attempt to ensure that you too will know the pain of love that crumbles relationships that fail, and the loneliness that follows. Yet, as the truth of her actions comes to light, you realize that her bitterness cannot shroud the love you've built. The curses lose their power, and you stand stronger, knowing that your relationships will not be broken by the darkness of her envy. Your mom's hatred stems from the sixth reason. She's trapped in fear and negativity, unable to understand your optimism. Her life has been a relentless cycle of scarcity, where fear and doubt have been her constant companions, shaping her worldview into one of limitations and constraints. Your optimism, your relentless drive, and your boundless ambition are foreign to her, threatening the fragile reality she's built. Unable to comprehend your vision, she seeks to pull you down to the level where she feels most secure in the darkness of her own insecurities. Every time you share your dreams with her, she responds with sharp dismissals, cloaked in the guise of realism. 
Her words are laced with the venom of her own unfulfilled aspirations, stinging you with doubts you never had before. Slowly, the light that once fueled your ambitions begins to flicker, and you feel a heaviness settle over your life, like a dark cloud that refuses to dissipate. What you don't know is that this cloud isn't just metaphorical. It's the result of her deliberate actions. She's been visiting a local healer, not to seek healing or enlightenment, but to request protection spells, spells that are anything but protective. These rituals are designed to bind you to the same fears that have shackled her for so long, to prevent you from reaching beyond the limits she's imposed on herself. As these spells take hold, you find yourself inexplicably losing hope. The dreams that once seemed so attainable now feel distant, almost impossible. An invisible pressure weighs on your shoulders, a force that keeps you from rising above the darkness she's cast over your life. Her hatred is born from the fear that your success will expose the emptiness of her own life. By dragging you down, she seeks to validate the choices she's made, the limits she's accepted. But as you begin to recognize the source of this suffocating negativity, the fog starts to lift. You see the spells for what they are, attempts to stifle your light, born from her own despair. And as you break free from the chains of her fear, you realize that your optimism and ambition are not just your strengths. They are your shield against the darkness she's tried to impose on you. The seventh reason why your mom hates you so much is because she sees your success as a threat. Each milestone you reach isn't just an achievement in her eyes. It's a glaring mirror that reflects every missed opportunity, every dream she let slip away. Your victories, instead of bringing her pride, awaken the ghosts of her own perceived failures. And with each success, the shadows of her regrets grow darker. After years of relentless effort, you land a prestigious job that seems to validate every sacrifice you've made. You call your mom, expecting to hear a note of pride in her voice, hoping for even a small acknowledgement of what you've accomplished. But instead, she deflects, her words heavy with bitterness. She mentions how the job market is so much tougher now than it was in her day, subtly chipping away at the significance of your success. The excitement you felt begins to wane, replaced by a gnawing sense of unease. Soon after, you hear whispers from relatives, comments laced with skepticism about how you really got that job. They hint that it wasn't your talent or hard work, but connections that opened doors for you. Confusion turns to dismay as you realize the source of these rumors. The very person who should be celebrating your achievements has been spreading lies, fueled by envy, seeking to tarnish the shine of your success. The energy around you shifts. Suddenly, projects at work begin to unravel. Tasks that once flowed effortlessly now meet inexplicable obstacles. It feels as though an unseen hand is pulling you back, sabotaging your progress. What you don't see is your mom late at night, lighting a black candle, her voice a low murmur of envy and spite. She channels her resentment into these rituals, sending waves of negative energy your way, hoping to drag you down to the level where her own failures lie buried. Her hatred isn't just personal. It's a manifestation of the fear that your success will outshine anything she ever accomplished. But as the truth of her actions comes to light, you realize that no amount of envy can diminish the work you've put in. Her attempts to undermine you only strengthen your resolve, and the negative energy she sends your way becomes the very force that propels you forward, leaving her bitterness in the shadows where it belongs. Now that you understand the deep, dark undercurrents driving your mom's actions, you must awaken to the reality of this spiritual warfare. Each of her attempts to undermine you each spell cast in the shadows is a reflection of her own unresolved pain and fear. But you, with your strength and awareness, hold the power to break free from the chains she's tried to wrap around you. The energy she uses to try and hold you back is the same energy you can harness to propel yourself forward. You are not defined by her failures or bound by her insecurities. Her negativity, though potent, cannot eclipse the light within you. Every attempt she makes to drag you down only sharpens your resolve and strengthens your spirit. The more she tries to dim your shine, the brighter you burn, casting away the shadows of her influence. 
You have the power, not just to survive this battle, but to emerge victorious, unscathed by the forces she has tried to wield against you. It's time to take control of your own narrative, to rewrite the story she has tried to impose upon you. Share your experiences, let your voice be heard. The more you bring these hidden truths into the light, the less power they hold over you. By sharing your story, you not only free yourself, but also empower others who are caught in similar webs of darkness. Stand firm in your truth, for it is your shield, your weapon, and your path to ultimate freedom.